The RAF and Royal Navy Academy rugby team shared 10 tries between them in an entertaining match in Aylesbury. The Navy running out winners by 38 points to 22. It was the Navy who struck first, Harry Wright taking the pass from Dan Gallen to score under the post for a, a converted try on seven minutes. In a game where attack triumphed over defence, the RAF struck back soon after. From a line-out, a driving ball was too much for the Navy, with Josh Peacock scoring. The Navy added their second try, full-back Josh Corobeo going over after a great forward work. But it wasn't long before the light blues were right back in it. A quick tap penalty from Pilkington under the posts with the extras added before they then took the lead, 17-14, and a fine solo run from Rafael to again catch the Navy defence out. Just before half-time, though, we saw the try of the match. From his own 22, Jerry Fafita ran the rest of the pitch, leaving the RAF players trailing in his wake to score a superb third try and give the young Navy side a two-point half-time lead of 19-17. The action didn't let up after the break. A fourth try for the Navy's Tui Vadra, again opening up the Air Force and put the Dark Blues in a commanding 24-17 position. when Fafita added his second try to make it 29-17. That looked to be curtains for the RAF. But they responded with a fine try of their own, Martin darting in to score for 29-22. The Navy had the final say, Seb Boardman collecting the offload for their sixth try, converted for a final score of 38 points to 22. Food for thought for both head coaches. It was quite an open game today, um, you know, we wanted to play some expansive and running rugby but we wanted to build that off of a structure. Uh, I think we did it well in the first 20 minutes of the game and then as uh, you know, the legs got a little bit more tired, the game became a little bit more scrappy uh, and the RAF really began to you know, bring their defensive game back together. There are a few players here who might have just put themselves in the frame for the Under-23 Championship coming up uh, next month. Yeah, I think they definitely have. I think you know, we've got some, uh, some really strong young lads coming into the Navy and playing a good standard of rugby. Um, it's great to see them using the academy now as a stepping stone between 23s and, and potentially seniors rugby in the future um, and so actually having a more rounded uh, you know both community and representative rugby uh, lay down in the Navy I think is definitely helping the sport. There's always lots to learn from these sort of matches and presumably the things that don't go so well are the things that you learn the most from. What will you have learned the most from today? Uh, I think it's given us a chance to just look at how we play in our structure um, and how we can do well out of our structure and I think that was on, on show today and we do need to look at our defence and, and how we can manipulate uh, ourselves to defend a little bit better in our, in our next fixture. For several players here the door wide open then for selection for the upcoming under 23 Inter-Services Championship. John Knighton, BFBS Forces News, Aylesbury.